Hi guys, George here from Zero Period Productions, and today I'm taking a look at Greedfall, a brand new RPG from Spiders and published by Focus Home Interactive. The game launched on September 10th, 2019, and I am recording this minutes after its official launch. Greedfall is available on Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and PC. I'll be playing this on Xbox One. I'm going in pretty blind, but I've been looking forward to this for a little while now. So hey, let's get started. Could you stand a little taller, just a tad? Like this? Yes, yes. Wait. Oh, okay. <laughs> the chin a tiny bit lower. Gaze a little more to the right. There! Now, hold the pose. Is this gonna be me? Oh, it is me. Ooh, I do not like... Okay, no, I thought it was some sort of weird attempt at a scraggly beard at first. No, that's some sort of scar. Okay. So there's not a ton of character customization options, but it's not the end of the world. And that scar is definitely going to be important, because you cannot get rid of it at all. Skills. Warrior, technical, and magic. One-handed heavy weapons, one-handed blades, firearms, strength, endurance, craftsmanship, and vigor. Technical is elemental traps, firearms, one-handed blades, accuracy, agility, science, and lockpicking. Magic. Divine Magic Ring, Stasis, One-Handed Heavy Weapons, Mental Power, Willpower, Science, and Intuition. Let's do... Let's do Technical. Oh, here we go. Pick an attribute to invest your first point according to preferred playstyle. Increases Fury Generation and all damage inflicted in melee combat. Or, increase the power of all firearms and alchemical preparations. Let's do... Agility... Well, yeah, agility level 1 to start. Now we have Charisma, Science, Intuition, Craftsmanship, Vigor... Let's do Charisma. Oh. Never mind, I went to press the start button. That's not the start button. You would think that the start game would be the start button, but no. I had to look down at my controller. Just a few more minutes. You have such an incredibly singular face. That's a compliment, my lord, out of my mouth. <laughs> I'm a lord? All right. Your particularity gives you character. You're still here? We've nearly finished. Have you any more need of me, Master? You haven't forgotten that we're setting sail today, have you? Of course not. Your cousin is nowhere to be found. I've searched the palace from cellars to attics. Your uncle is beside himself. He was of a mind to paint the town last night. Don't worry, I shall track him down. Make care to your own preparations without wrinkling another frown. We'll meet you on the boat. It's about time your cousin took account of the responsibilities awaiting him. He should go and inform the ambassadors of Telemi and the Bridge Alliance of his departure. Have no fear, Master. I will go and see them in his name. What the hell is this lip sync? What the hell is this lip sync and facial animation? I beg your pardon, but urgent matters call me away. Might we finish all this later? Impossible, my lord! You are leaving with the tide, if what I've been told is correct. I am sorry, sir, truly. I must be going. Uh, my lord, please, I beg you! Her Highness has personally Oh, thank you, cousin, for getting me out of that. Like, I can't entirely tell if the lip sync is just slightly off, if it's the animation that's off, or if it's just a combination of those two. Hey! Green blood! Cut. And so the day has finally come. My royal fledglings are leaving the nest. Accompanied by their most loyal and tenacious master of arms. As loyal as your goal. Oh, enough with the cold mercenary. I know you like us. Mm. Still hiding your men in the unsuspecting shadows of the greats of this world, I see. Hey, our blades are the only thing keeping you dainties alive. Ha! <laughs> Kurt! I'm not in need of your protection. I'm no longer a child, you know. Is that so? Well, let's see. Fight with honor! 
Attack three times. Oh, I love this music. If all the combat music in this game is like this, I'm gonna be very, very happy. Defend yourself against three attacks. Prove to Kurt that you can fight. Okay. Healing, you have lost health. Yeah, I did. It's like, yeah, this dude kind of has a big-ass sword, and I got this little uh, butter knife right here. Do not attack me. I'm healing up right now. Proof to Kurt that you can fight. That might be easier said than done. Oh! Jesus, yeah. I don't even know if I've done any real damage to him. Oh, God. What a green blood. Me, who thought myself a competent weapons master. It's becoming a little hard to believe. Don't add insult to injury. This is humiliating enough. We'll need to get you through the basics, or you risk getting your feathers plucked at the first sign of trouble. That could definitely come in handy. In that case, Otto here is gonna be your training partner. Go! Fight with honor! I'm waiting to go online later and see that everyone killed him super easily, and then there's me who immediately got his ass handed to him. Alright, open tactical. Pause. Let's assign... Firearms. Oh, no, let's use firearms. Ooh! Man, I should've used this against my training master. That was a little unfair. Physical armor level is shown with shields on the bar. Uh, alright. Gotta set a trap. <laughs> Say goodbye to your mother. Okay, I just want to put the trap down. Leave me alone. Nope, not now. I'm trying to set the trap for you. There we go. Fury. Fury is a state that allows you to use special attacks and inflict bonus damage and make enemies lose their balance. Press left trigger to use a Fury attack. Not enough adrenaline. Oh, okay, so... Gotta do that first. There we go. Uh, is this dude okay? Running around in circles? It appears we've brushed up on the basics. It does, and I'd like to be on my way. I've quite the list of things to do before we depart. Indeed. Remember that you can always train in our barracks on the island if you're feeling rusty. Are your bags packed for the great departure? Yes. You know I get by with very little. You're not angry that I'm coming with you, I hope. His face looks weirdly cel-shaded compared to everyone else's. Uh, show him how happy you are that he's coming along. Complain about being shadowed by a bodyguard. I'm happy. He kicked my ass, but I'm happy. On the contrary, I'm thrilled that both you and Sir de Corsillon are joining our party. A few friends at your side in unknown territory is a boon. Ah, so the old goat is coming too. And there I was thinking I would die of boredom on the trip. By the way, where is our future governor hiding? I was hoping to put his skills to the test as well. I have no idea. He had plans to celebrate his departure last night and we haven't seen him since. You know, Constantine, I should have gone with him, but my heart wasn't in the mood for celebration. The thought of bidding my mother farewell. It is never easy to say goodbye. But you should be going to see her now. She must be waiting for you. I'll meet you in front of the palace. Then we'll go and find Constantine together. Very well. I'll meet you as soon as I've said my goodbyes. Meet Kurt in front of the palace and say goodbye to your mother. I like how he said, oh, feel free to brush up if you're rusty. It's like, yeah, the game just started and I already feel rusty. What is this? Have you not been taught to knock 
I've asked a thousand times. Oh, it's you, my dear child. Mother, I'm sorry. I'm having trouble getting used to your condition. Come now, let's speak of more pleasant things. I'm so very happy to hear your voice. Is it contagious? Don't touch me if it is. You remind me so much of your father. I do miss him so. Today is the big day, isn't it? Ready to set sail for that island everyone's talking about. Yes, but the idea of leaving you behind, alone and ill. Dying, my child. Alas, there is nothing you can do by staying that would ease my suffering. One thing brings me cheer. They say the island is full of miracles, and we might find a cure. Even if I were to find it, I would never be able to return in time to- I know. But it brings me comfort that to know my son has left on a mission to heal his people. Come now. It is time for you to take leave. Here, take this with you. What is it? A family heirloom. Something that... Take it and keep it with you. May it bring you good luck. All my blessings go with you, my child. Now, be off. Oh, where'd I get the hat from? When did I get over here? Alright. I guess because there's nothing else to do there, so it just kicked me out of the palace. Get out of the palace. Here's your hat. Oh. Man, I know we're going to the Isles, so we're not going to get to explore, but that city, or I guess this city, looks massive, looks beautiful. That's probably just like a 2D backdrop. But still, I want to go there. So whatever this disease is, whatever this affliction is, it's not just affecting her. It's affecting a bunch of people, and that's one of the reasons we're going to the island then. Or the main reason we're going. Kurt? It's done. Sorry, Greenblood. Look, we can see the masts of the ship that'll be taking us. This is one sacred adventure we're embarking on. I hope this island will keep its promises. In order to know that, we'll need to find Constantine first. You're right. Maybe he's already at the port. He was so eager to leave. This will be quite the chore to finish before our departure. The commander wants to recover some merchandise from our supplier, but the transporter doesn't want to deliver. I did all I could to persuade. Nothing came of it. All the parliamenting fatigues me. But this is your domain. I wouldn't say no to a little help. Of course. Where is the supplier? In the lower boroughs, near the port. Right then. We'll put it on our list of visits. Maybe I will get to go to the, uh... The city a little bit. Faction coin guard relationship level suspicious. He's suspicious of me. Oh, he's trained you and everything, but, uh... Yeah, he doesn't like you. He doesn't trust you at all. Where would you like to begin? I've been asked to pay visits to the ambassadors of Teleme and the Bridge Alliance before our departure. Their dwellings are not far from here. We could go there first. Very well. Do you think Constantine will be waiting for us next to the ship? I don't know, but it's certainly worthy of inspection. If I talk to him, are there any options? Greenblood, do you need something? <laughs> hey, have you ever been lonely? I wondered if you ever felt lonely. I always do. Why, do you want to rectify this? Oh, no. Um... No, I was just asking as a friend. Yeah. I mean, I thought I was keeping you good company all these years. I hope to have kept you good company for all these years. After all, we were always together. And I valued your friendship. But I thought you were referring to another kind of company. 
And to be honest, you and Constantine aren't exactly my type. Anything else? Uh, no, that'll be all. I must leave you. Well, I guess we found our first romance option. <laughs> well, that, I was not expecting that. In two seconds into the game, he's like, oh, I thought you were offering other company. But then again, he also turned me down and said, I wouldn't have said yes anyway, so. Never mind. You can access the map of the region by holding down the menu button. Ooh. Oh, yeah, we get to go into the city quite a bit then. And here I was thinking we were going to the island immediately. No, there's so much exploration to be done here. We have the embassy, the, I mean, both embassies, uh, the vendor, and then all these question marks. Oh, we're gonna be here a while. And I was worried we weren't gonna get to see the city at all. Ooh. You know, I'm glad we're going to the Isles. I'm glad we're going off to this Island of Miracles, because... It's like, oh, I want to explore the city. Oh, we got dying people, we got people burning stuff. It's like, hmm. Yeah, maybe I made the right call in leaving. Your Excellency, Lord de Sade. I have been told that you were named Legate. Congratulations! Those are great responsibilities for someone as young as yourself. But you will bring honor upon your family and the congregation. Of that, I'm certain. I thank you, Excellency. I've come here to inform you of our departure for Tierfredi. My cousin Constantine is about to take up office as governor of New Serene, and I'm accompanying him. I had no idea you would be leaving so quickly. What a shame! I had thought... Well, then, that is a pity. Have a pleasant voyage. A brilliant future awaits you. They say that it is a marvelous island. Please convey to your cousin my congratulations and sincere wishes for success. You seem slightly hesitant. Please, tell me what troubles you. A rather unscrupulous individual has been sowing trouble in Serene. A charlatan passing himself off as an alchemist. Do people actually give credence to these lies? Alas, yes. They snatch up his celebrated panacea. Remedies worse than the ill, believe me. As you can well imagine, alchemists are our pride. This vulgar trickster casts dirt upon their reputation and our own at the same time. In any city of the Bridge Alliance, we would have arrested him. But here, we respect your laws. I shall see what I can do, but make no promises. My departure is imminent. I thank you, Excellency. And I am pleased to see you have taken so well to your new functions of diplomacy. The man operates in the city center. He is said to be clever and mean. Be careful. Out of style! To me. Does your best you won't regret this miraculous! Citizens, I present to you Panacea, the absolute cure of everything. Toothache, stomach ailment, and even an open wound. This potion heals all of that. And more still, this little file is the product of years of research and intensive labor. I hear you asking, if this remedy can heal one from the Malachor. Alas, not yet. But your question is legitimate. I am so close to finding the cure. But the Malachor isn't the only ailment causing you to suffer. Not true? Then don't miss out on this chance and give yourself a healthy and energize life. Rejoice! A file only costs a few coins, and well worth it to make your life shiny and new again. Does it really heal everything, your potion? Everything. Absolutely everything. Except the Malachor, of course. That's not everything. That being said, 
It is known that those in top health resist the Malachor best of all. Then don't throw away this chance. Think of all the pains that this potion could help you avoid. You are right. It's a deal. I'm gonna take two. There's a man that knows a good deal when he sees one. Hurry now. There won't be enough for everyone. There he is. He's our man, no doubt. His speech is well polished. I even feel like buying some. And if we had a word with him? I wonder if he'll serve us the same routine. You know, if I was sick and desperate, I would probably trust him. He's got a fancy hat, he's got glasses. You see, those are the hallmarks of someone uh, that I can trust. Ah, you're finally tempted. In all honesty, I haven't made up my mind yet. I want to be certain that I'm not dealing with a charlatan. Well, don't tell In him that. In age, I can't blame you. What might I do to convince you? <laughs> Drink it yourself. Ask for a demonstration. Here we go. Prove to me that this isn't just essential oils. Will you drink one of your potions to prove your good faith? Of course. I take a little sip every morning. But, as I'm in perfect health, you won't be able to verify the improvement in my condition. But, if it helps you make up your mind, give me just a moment. There now. As you see, I am still in excellent condition. I don't see you drink Come anything. Come on now, I saw you take that vial out of your pocket. Nothing proves that it's the same potion that you sell to your clients. As a man of science, I consider skepticism a remarkable quality. But in your case, it is not skepticism, but blindness. What? We need to steal one of these potions and force him to drink it. <laughs> what? idea, Kurt. Let's take a look at his cart. <laughs> you jumped to that very quickly. I feel like being noble, we could just order him to. No, let's just steal from him and then force it down his throat. I mean, I like the way he thinks, but wow, he jumped to that very, very quickly. I saw a rat running by. Is this going to be the thing of the rats are causing the disease? Letter from the innkeeper to the servant. The weird alchemist of the Alliance who rented a room upstairs specifically asked us not to clean it during his stay. This old fool must not want us to accidentally break his vials or something, so leave him in his filth. The customer is always right. Ooh, do we have to maybe check the room? These pages are covered in small, almost illegible handwriting, experiment, res experiment results, patient observations, and incoherent symbols. Or incomprehensible symbols. But the complexity of same... Uh, some recipes leave no room for death. The author was a true alchemist and was very, uh, and was certainly very knowledgeable. Oh, oh, uh oh, uh oh, oh. Wait, who is this? Where did they come from? Oh, there's three of them! Well, I guess the, uh,. The charlatan hired them in case someone caught on to his little scheme. There you go. That or they're just bandits, and they have nothing to do with uh, what's going on here. It's also very possible. Ooh. Uh, yeah, let's take everything. So we have thick blacksmith gloves and goldsmith gloves. Oh, do I have more stuff for just everything? Do I have... Oh, yeah, no, look at this. I have another set of equipment. Oh, I think there was a pre-order bonus. Because I bought it the day before it came out, but... Or, yeah, I bought it, like, hours before it came out, but I guess that still counts as... Pre-ordering. I mean, I know it counts as pre-ordering, so that's what that was. Oh, here we go. Rifle with boar ivory decoration. Oh, I like the sound of that. We're already getting super fancy here. The only annoying thing is I can't go to the side on the D-pad. The side takes me to him. It's like, no, if I'm on my weapons and I want to get to my armor, I just want to scroll over 
to the side. I feel like that's just not the most intuitive. Oh, uh, okay. But if I do it with the uh, left stick and not the D-pad, that'll do it. But I can use the D-pad to still go up and down, so that's why I got confused. Yeah, I keep on just hitting on the D-pad, just out of habit. Oh, I want Kurt to just hold this man down and just pour this potion down his throat. Can we just get, like, a large crowd going for this? That's what I want right now. Eh, this crowd will have to do. Have you finally made up your mind? Oh, I have. I have indeed. I happen to have a vial of your medicine. Would you be willing to drink it in front of us? To prove that there is no risk. This bullying is trying my patience. I'm beginning to suspect that you might be working for a rival. You refuse to taste it. You might have put something in it to cause me harm or further disgrace. You might have. No, look. The vial is still sealed. It comes straight from your stock. And you dare challenge me when you have just admitted to being a thief. Come now. You can see for yourself that I'm gladly returning your vial so that you might drink it in front of witnesses. This might help to dissipate my doubts as well as those of these brave folk. Yes, no, I... You don't have the right! Damnation. He got away. Wait, where'd he, he go? Gone far. Find him before <laughs> Come on. his head ends up on a spike. Think back to the note that we found. We need to take a look at the tavern. He won't leave the city without his belongings. Okay, I know something of it's just happening off screen, but... Wait, no, you can't do that. Disappears. It's like, damn, he ran away. It's like, well... Let me see that. I want to see him run away. Can I jump up this? Yes, I can. Ooh. The merchant is there. Here we go. Oh, oh, and... Did I just stumble upon the area that I'm supposed to be in immediately? Oh! Oh, I love the firearms. It's just so satisfying. <laughs> oh, I could get used to that. I'm still getting used to the combat a little bit, but I am really, really liking this so far. Old well, Studded Curus. I need higher endurance in order to use that. Okay. But it is blue quality, so. Might be worth using. Let me just use my health potion. It's like, wait. I said the merchant is here? Did we find him? I was just trying to head to the tavern. Is he here? Well, that's... That's the vendor I need to talk to. No, this is still saying find the charlatan. He's not... Here? Okay, this was just... A random alley attack. Never mind. Oh, is the city watch here? Or the guards? Do you think they can help me out? Maybe I can ask the innkeep if he knows... Good day, tavern keeper. Good day to you. What is your pleasure? Nope, I can't ask about the, uh, the charlatan. I need to be off. Farewell. Goodbye. I figured I could ask him, be like, hey, have you seen a charlatan around here? A man who, uh, refuses to drink his own wares? Look at all that cheese. If only we could steal the cheese. Hi. Nothing to say? No? <laughs> he hasn't even noticed that we're here yet. You again? What are you doing in my room? I'm not the only one that has found you. 
Have you seen the mob that is gathering in the street? I'm neither deaf nor blind. <sighs> By the spheres. Why didn't I leave the city while there was still time? The Alliance Ambassador is quite unsettled by your commerce, and he is the one who sent me. Sahin! Him again. Ruining my career wasn't enough for him. He's the very reason I had to leave the Alliance. And here I am, playing the part of the Potion Maker. Me, who was once a respected member of the Academy of al -Sad. I mean, I still don't entirely trust him. He refused to drink his own potion. But now I'm curious. Dr. Sahin warned me that you were an imposter. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me coming from him. I was a master alchemist. I understand if you don't believe me after all that. But I have a number of documents to prove it. I would still be one if Sahin hadn't set up a chain of machinations to disgrace me. Why does Sahin bear you such hatred? I was unfortunate enough to oppose certain great minds of the Academy. To criticize their methodology. I saw them inflicting torture on sick prisoners. Making them drink the most vile poisons. To find a remedy to the Malachor, they won't hesitate to kill. I could not keep my silence. It is for an act of courage that you fell from grace and earned Sahin's hatred. But that still doesn't answer the question about the potions. Are you not ashamed to have poisoned those poor souls? These potions are not harmful. That is to say that they don't contain any harmful ingredients. But you could just as easily produce real healing potions. So why don't you? You don't understand. I fled. But I haven't put a stop to my own research. This potion is an attempt to create in those who drink it a resistance to the Malachor. So you manipulate people to use this experimental fodder. That is completely unethical. I don't have a choice, but it does not harm them, I assure you. If this potion were inoffensive, then why wouldn't you drink it when I offered it to you? I ran tests on myself for such a long time that I ended up becoming intolerant to it. A small sip of this mixture provokes in me now a violent reaction. I mean, the mob would have been furious in any case. But a normal dose, I assure you, is without risk. Your methods don't seem so different than those of your colleagues. I don't torture people. And this potion only has side effects in high doses. Perhaps, but you're hurting innocents. I cannot let your commerce continue. So, what are you going to do with me, sir? <sighs> I kind of want to arrest him, and I want to arrest... The other guy as well. Because if I l help him leave, he's just going to keep doing this. And how do I know that he's not going to wind up giving someone a high dosage and hurting them? Alright, he's coming with me. I'm sorry, but I don't trust you. I'm going to deliver you to Dr. Sahin. Sir, I beg you to spare me. I've heard enough. You're under arrest. How unjust. Just arrest him, but arrest him for the city, not for the guild. Well, for the embassy. I'm generally sorry to learn that you have not found the peace you were hoping for in Serene. Since your departure from the academy, the situation has been deplorable. Those who had accused, uh, those you had accused, are now behaving as if the rules did not apply to them, regularly performing questionable experiments, and there is nothing the rest of us can do apart from keeping a low profile. I sincerely hope that you will eventually find some place where you can be at peace. Your friend. I don't know, I don't feel like there's no good outcome. I don't trust either of them. I want everyone to get arrested. I like that it has an option to immediately go back to the embassy, though. Your Excellency. Lord Desade. I tracked down your man near the coin guard barracks. Finally! Did you capture him? Let's just say I put an end to his activities. His reputation in Serene is forever tarnished. Matters turned out a little more complicated than anticipated. Oh, can I not... just say anything about his... uh, part in all this? Alright. He is hiding in a room in the coin guard tavern. Why didn't you have him arrested? 
Angry citizens have gathered round the building. They have sworn to avenge themselves after discovering his fraud. But I said I was I going to arrest it him. it better to avoid the mob. But if you wish to capture him alive, I advise you hurry. Wait. Governor Burren will be happy to learn that a legate with great assiduity will soon be joining the island of Tirfredi. Thank you for your help, Excellency, and allow me to offer you this modest present for your voyage. I need to be going. Goodbye, Excellency. Goodbye, Lord Desade. Wait. I said I was arresting him, though. There's all this stuff that happens off screen. I'm arresting you. You leave, and it's like, I didn't arrest him. It comes to black, and it's like, oh, that guy ran away. It's like, put this stuff on screen. Explain this stuff to me, or at least show it or convey it a little bit better. Oh, well, you're very fancy. Good day, Excellency. Sir Desade, to what do I owe the pleasure? I have come to inform you that my cousin Constantine and I are departing for Tierfordy on the hour. Ah, yes. I did indeed hear talk that you had both received callings of greater stature. Allow me to congratulate you. Were you not named Legate of the Congregation? You are correct, Excellency. I thank you. It is a station of great honor that I am sure you will fill with brio and panache. The Mother Cardinal Cornelia will be enchanted to work with you, and your cousin in the future. I only regret that your departure is so sudden. Really? To be entirely honest with you, I was hoping to solicit your help in a rather delicate matter. Tell me more about it, and perhaps I can take care of your problem before my departure. Very well. A small group of dangerous heretics has found refuge in Serene. We know that your uncle tolerates the presence of all pagans within the city walls. But these particular non-believers threaten the fragile harmony of this place. We would consider it a tremendous favor if you would arrest them and deliver them to our guard. Heresy is not a crime in Serene. You do know that. But I'm sure my uncle would hear your arguments. Why call on my intervention? The prince would indeed give us his blessing. But it would take time. Far too much time. For according to our sources, these fugitives have already made contact with a smuggler to take them who knows where. I see. You're hoping that I'll be able to do something before they make it to an enemy city. If your heretics are planning on boarding a ship, then they must be in the dockyards. I'll look into this and see what I can do. I must be going. Farewell, Excellency. May the light guide you, Dasade. Okay, I have one skill point, so let's put that into something. Uh, I feel like let's do one-handed blades, because while I would like to put more damage into... Firearms, I have limited ammo, so it's the thing of melee weapons are my primary means of dealing damage right now. You have discovered port quarter. Hello there. I, I still don't see Constantine at your side. I hope he hasn't been the victim of any foul play. Don't worry. We'll find him in time for departure. I certainly hope so. Uh, would you be in need of my help in any way? What will be your official title on Tier 3D? Or are you just here to keep an eye on us? Come now, don't be ridiculous. I'm coming in the capacity of official advisor, nothing more. Uh, but His Highness has also asked me to report to him on certain strategic observations. I am therefore required to take note of all events, uh, chart the island and its resources, and also obtain as much knowledge as possible concerning the more dangerous creatures of the island. Your help will be extremely valuable to me. I've no longer the legs of an adventurer. <laughs> it's always a privilege to help, Master. I need to be leaving. I have quite a few things to do before we raise anchor. 
while the lip sync isn't great, I will say that the game is really nice. I love the uh, the world design so far. Graphically, it's really nice, and it's running really, really well on Xbox. It feels like a solid 60 frames right now. Lively there, lads and lasses! I promised the merchants and their prince would be off before the tide. You, man, carry that properly. That porcelain is worth more than your life. Oh, God damn it. There are some children we'd think best to refuse. Captain Vasco. And you are? I'm de Sade, the prince's nephew. If all is in order, we will soon be embarking on your boat. It's a ship. Not a boat. Apologies. Apologies for my asking, but the young governor isn't with you. He didn't come home this morning. I need to find him before departure. I hope nothing's happened to him or he hasn't changed his mind. The tide does not wait. <laughs> Perhaps he simply celebrated his imminent departure with a little too much enthusiasm. Is everything ready? We're short a crew member. The cabin boy is missing. But have no fear, we will leave without him if he does not present himself before the tide. Is he an important member of the crew? We don't need him for sailing or navigation. He's only a cabin boy. He must have simply had a bit too much to drink in celebrating his departure. Like another I know. I doubt that. Jonas was never one to fancy drink. And it's been two days since last he was seen. No, I fear something bad has happened to him. Might I ask you, if you hear anything, could you report it to me? I would like to set sail with a clear mind. All right. Have you seen anyone wandering about? Suspicious looking. Maybe clandestine passengers. Take a look around. There are far too many comings and goings to spot possible stowaways. As long as they don't try and get on my ship, I pay no attention to them. That said, we did catch ourselves a smuggler just a while ago. A smuggler? Maybe he could be of some use. Where could I find him? In the port jails. Not far from the warehouses. Why I ask you? Why the sudden interest in smugglers and the odd stowaway? Um... Yeah, let's keep this on the hush-hush. Nothing to bother yourself about. I'm just curious. You wouldn't, by the sheerest of coincidences, be on the trail of a couple of heretics, Your Excellency. Oh. The same a couple of the ambassadors of Teleme's men have been looking for nigh on two days. Well then. And so you know about that? Of course. The Cardinal's henchmen are hard to miss, even in a crowd. And they were making quite a fuss, hoping we would cave in and help them in their hunt. Feel free to carry out your own investigation, but you'll end up with the same answers. The port brigs, just like the warehouses, are property of the Nords. No one else may enter. Let's ask about the cabin boy. Or I don't even know if it's going to be asking about him. Uh... Yeah, all right. Be back soon, Captain. I think that's we if I have, have something to report. That people smuggler the sailor mentioned. He's a captain, Kurt, like yourself. And in order to interrogate the smuggler, we'll need to find a way into his jail. Zones controlled by other factions. This zone is under the control of another faction than yours. Certain places are forbidden for you. A costume torso of the faction will allow you to trick the guards. You can also try a stealth approach, but if a guard spots you, it will result in a violent response and damage your reputation with this faction. So this is going to be interesting. Okay, well that's how you sneak. Yeah. I knew that already. Will it tell me when I'm entering an area that I'm not supposed to be in? I mean, like, the prison. Well, I guess we'll see. Not the stealthiest approach I've ever done, but you know. Hopefully, there's no guards in here, otherwise, we're gonna have some trouble. I've seen a few escapes in my time. Are you the smuggler? You snuck yourself in here just to ask me that question. If this is some sort of trick to get me to admit to some crime, you are truly twisted. You can see for yourself that I'm no Nord. Come now. Are you the one I'm looking for? I'm already locked up. What more do I risk? Yes, I am a smuggler. But I'm not the only one in this city. 
I'm searching for a couple fleeing to Leme. They're trying to leave the city discreetly. Have they contacted you? You certainly can't imagine I'm going to answer you without getting something in exchange. I don't really think of my clients as kin, but I'd never betray any of them for free. A real saint you are. How about your freedom in exchange for your loyalty? Tell me where I can find them and I'll open this cage. That works for me. Your two Telemites are hidden in a warehouse behind this very prison. They must be waiting for me. But you might want to be quick about it. If the Noughts get their hands on them, they'll find themselves in this same cage. Thank you. Anytime. And these doors? You're gonna open them, right? Man, you should have waited until I, uh, let you out. Is it optional to free the smuggler? I wonder if it's optional, because... Well, I have the key. Or apparently I have the key, yeah. Oh no, look at that! <laughs> we're, not letting him, we're not letting him out. I feel like that's gotta be optional, right? Okay, so the heretics are right in here. Oh! Hello? Halt! The warehouse is off limits. Move along. I need to get one of their outfits. Did you hear the bell? The bell? Of the port authorities? Of course. We're not in Teleme, you know. You better get going. The harbor master is ringing it. All the Norks must rendezvous at the Port Authority immediately. Must be something serious. Damn, we didn't hear either. We're done for. Come on, we need to move fast. Be off with you. I'll watch over the warehouse in your absence. Man, I'm glad they fell for that. Now, is there anyone left in here, or were the only people guarding it outside? I really hope that was it. Oh. Hi. Damnation. We've been found. I told you that the smuggler was not worthy of our trust. The man to which you are referring was arrested and thrown into prison, but revealed to me your hiding place. Oh, the traitor! Have you come to deliver us to the Inquisition, then? Please, please, have pity on our souls. We have committed no crime. We are not heretics. We are nothing more than historians. In that case, why is the ambassador of Teleme so concerned about your teachings? Why is the Inquisition looking for you, and why are you hiding? Our only error was wanting to publish our work. It's true. We presented our research, but it didn't please the censor. And here you have the result. We fled all the way to Serene, thinking we would be safe. But the Inquisition wants to silence us so badly that they followed us here. Tell me more about your research. What about it is so horrifying that it would provoke such a fuss? Our work concerned the teachings of St. Lucius. The disciple of St. Matthias. The one who returned to Teleme after traveling with his master. The very same. His writing was carefully preserved, but never seriously studied. With the discovery of Tirfredi, we thought it crucial to take a look at the original text. We wanted to verify if this island could have been the faraway place that he spoke of. The Eden of St. Matthias. And? What did you find? Tiafredi is without any doubt the land that our Saint Matthias and his disciples went to. But the text that we discovered was radically different from what we expected to find. In the original text, Saint Lucius doesn't speak of an Eden, of the paradise of the illuminated. He speaks of a voice that came from the depths of the earth, which convinced Saint Matthias to stay there. It was written in black and white. And there is no doubt about it. The original was written in Lucius's own hand. I understand now what that text has cost you. This voice from the depth sounds more the power of a demon than a saint. The sacred texts are always difficult to interpret, but what is written is written. 
Did you try speaking with the senses? You could forget what you have discovered, perhaps. Oh, we have signed already an abjugation stating that we misunderstood the sacred texts of St. Lucius. We were even ready to say that we had never seen the true text or anything else that would have pleased them. It served no purpose. It's our lives they are after. I'm gonna help them escape. Who were you hoping would give you asylum? We were hoping to reach Al Saad. The Inquisition won't chase us into the den of their enemies. Our research won't interest the Bridge Alliance, or at least I doubt it. But at least we'll be safe. By entering Al Saad as clandestines, you risk being taken for spies. That would be better than being burned at the stake. I see. Well, you have no other choice but to run and seek refuge in enemy territories. I beg of you. Please do not deliver us to them. Let us continue on this path. Uh? You know what? I already did the Bridge Alliance Ambassador a favor. Let me talk to him. I could have a word with the good Dr. Sahin, the Ambassador of the Bridge Alliance. If he can be persuaded to offer you asylum, you would be saved. Your goodness honors you. May the Illuminated forever light your path. If I manage to convince the Ambassador, you'll need to refrain from that sort of blessing. Stay here. I'll be back. Stay here in the warehouse where you could be discovered at any moment. I feel like it would be safer if they came with me. Because they're going to have to leave the warehouse at some point anyway. Uh, yeah, you stay right there. Uh, you don't go anywhere. You stay right where you are. Your Excellency, Lord de Sade. I would like to talk to you about a rather delicate matter. I am listening. A couple of historians have made a recent discovery concerning Mateus, the founder of the mythical Teleme. And it seems that this is not to the liking of the Illuminated, or at least his more fervent subjects. These sinister hypocrites are going to want to burn them at the stake. Without a doubt. And that's why these poor people are begging you to offer them asylum. We are willing. Where are they to be found at this time? At the port of Serene. They were hoping to stow away discreetly on a vessel to Al Saad. Very well. I shall send an escort immediately to take them somewhere safe. Perfect. I need to be going. Goodbye, Excellency. Goodbye, Lord de Sade. We owe you our lives. We are eternally grateful. It was nothing. I hope you won't have too much difficulty adapting to your new country. If you would allow me, I would like to give you this. It's not much, but it is all that we possess. Farewell. You have a kind heart, Greenblood. It'll be the end of you, but that doesn't bother me. I wouldn't have wanted those poor buggers to end up on a burning pyre. It would seem that I'm not the only one with a tender heart. Well, that's good. Does that mean he's less suspicious of me now? I'm not sure. Let's find out. The Bridge Alliance is suspicious of me. Tlemy is suspicious of me. The Coin Guard, the Nauts, and the Natives. Everyone's just suspicious of me still. Now, hopefully I can talk my way out of this with the Ambassador. Otherwise, they're gonna stay... Suspicious, or they're going to be even worse than suspicious of me. Good day, Excellency. Sir de Sade, to what do I owe the pleasure? It pains me to inform you that the heretics you seek have fled. Curse them! How could that possibly have happened? Beats me. Alas. These renegades have found protection with the Ambassador of the Bridge Alliance. I would not have been able to capture them without risking a diplomatic incident that my uncle would have condemned. The Bridge. I thought as much. Those heretics have turned to them. But I had hoped that you might intervene quickly enough to stop them. It is truly regrettable. We have nothing else to do but pray that the Luminous might shield us from their lies. I must be going. Farewell, Excellency. 
May the light guide you, Dasade. Leveled up, and I didn't have to free the smuggler. Okay, I'm glad. I was worried that it was going to force me to. But I was hoping that I got to make that decision for myself. Even though I only have a bit of time in Greedfall, I do have a decent first impression of the game. First off, I love the world design. We are only in the starting area, but it seems really detailed, really fleshed out, and has a lot of nooks and crannies to explore. I was admittedly a little worried about performance on console, as I had seen some people having issues with the frame rate on the PC version. On an original Xbox One, I had no frame rate issues at all. The game ran really smoothly, and graphically, it looks really solid for console. That being said, character models and textures seemed a little mixed. It almost feels like some NPCs have a completely different style or even texture quality, and the facial animations and lip sync is not great. It feels like characters are showing off way more teeth in dialogue than you would normally see. I can see these animations being something that you get used to over the course of the game, or it's something that might just keep nagging at you as you play through the game. It's really hard to say right now. Combat is something that might take a little bit of getting used to, but I really enjoy the sheer power and force behind the firearms. For me, that was probably one of my favorite parts of the gameplay so far. The quests so far have been pretty well done, and I like that they allow you to make different choices that affect the quest's outcome. My only complaint in that regard is that it sometimes feels like more choices could be available, and some parts of quests could be better explained or even shown off. My best example would be during the charlatan quest. The screen goes black and your companion says, Oh, he ran off. Yeah, show me that. That, or when you confront the charlatan, you tell him you're arresting him. But then you go back to the quest giver and tell him that you couldn't arrest the charlatan yet because of the mob outside. Stuff like that just makes it feel a little inconsistent. Despite some of these grievances, I had fun with what I played so far. Compared to the studio's last game, the Technomancer, which I played a bit of, Greedfall is a huge improvement in terms of quality. Spider Studio says their goal with Greedfall was to fill the void that Bioware left behind. And while I'm not sure if they can fill the boots of classic Bioware, I am enjoying the game so far, and I've been looking for a new RPG to sink a lot of time into. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.